minimalist. And because of that, I tend to avoid purchasing small kitchen appliances or kind of large bulky kitchen appliances unless an item helps me enough that it essentially earns the right to take up space in my home and my life. The appliances that I keep in my home have to help me live the life that I want to live. They have to help they have to make my life easier in very specific ways. And if they don't, I gladly live without them. After a few years of air fryers being the newest revolutionary appliance out there, I succumbed and I went and purchased an air fryer thinking, okay, this doesn't seem to be a fad. It's really sticking around. Maybe it, I should get one. Maybe it'll make my life easier. But then after using it once, I began to question, did I make the right decision? An air fryer is supposed to be easier, healthier, faster, but does it offer enough value to our life to justify the space that it takes up and the time and maintenance? There have been so many appliances that have come through the years and I have evaluated their usefulness and either decluttered them or not purchased them in the first place. The bread machine, the crock pot, the rice cooker, the instant pot, all things that we're supposed to be able to just throw everything in, set it, and forget it. But after embracing minimalism, I really had to evaluate what the cost was of those conveniences. So what is the cost of these appliances? Most often, it's space, but it can also be maintenance. There are so many things that we think, oh, this is going to make our lives easier, but if we hate cleaning it or if it's all hand wash, it doesn't necessarily make our lives easier. Okay, so thinking about the air fryer, I've been using it now for a couple of months. And I will say for our family, it was not worth the investment. This is gonna vary greatly based on how many people you have in your home, what kind of foods you tend to cook all the time. But let me share with you why I came to this conclusion. Basically, air fryers are just convection ovens and my regular oven is a convection oven. So the function is the same. This one that I got is hand wash recommended. I haven't tested it by putting it in the dishwasher yet, but for longevity of the appliance, it's not recommended. It does take up a significant amount of space. Now I did switch out the toaster. Our toaster was on the fritz. I got rid of that and replaced it with the air fryer, which can also toast but it is quite a lot larger than a regular toaster. And I toast more than I realize. Uh, before I would take the toaster in and out of the cupboard and it never, it's, it, was, it was light, it was easy. This takes more effort and thus feels like more hassle. It doesn't bake enough for our whole family. I can't cook a sheet pan meal in this that will feed all five of us. I can do roasted vegetables. It'll cook enough vegetables for us to have a side dish but if I want to do anything like roasted fish or enough chicken breast for all of us, it's not going to hold enough. And if anyone joins us for dinner, a friend or one of our older kids, then I end up having to use the regular oven anyway because it, <laughs> I need to make more. It takes the same amount of time to bake something. It doesn't bake any faster than my regular oven. It does preheat faster, but I'll put that in the, in the pro category. And lastly, it just it feels like more of a hassle. It takes, takes up space. It feels like more of a hassle to take it in and out of the cupboard. And for me, when something feels like a hassle, I don't want to do it. Whether it is or not doesn't matter. It's how it feels to me. So let's talk a little bit about the pros of having an air fryer. For one, kids can use it. It makes it much easier for the kids, especially if you have the basket kind. Um, where you don't have to worry about wearing oven mitts. I have a friend that they have a lot of allergies and the kids need when they need to have food they can't just reach in and grab a box of crackers. They have to actually cook a chunk of meat or have some vegetables. And so having an air fryer for them has made their life easier because the kids can go just grab whatever prepped meats out of the fridge and put it in the air fryer and cook it themselves and not have to worry about supervising it like you would a 10 year old using the stove or the oven. 
I do like the texture of the roasted vegetables in the air fryer. It does come out crispier than my regular oven, but just a small amount. And honestly, our whole fa out of our whole family, I'm, I'm probably the only one that notices that. It reheats leftovers well. Our son and daughter-in-law chose to have this over a microwave with their limited counter space. And it does very well, especially if you're reheating something like pizza. It is faster to preheat. I don't even have to worry about preheating in the air fryer because it takes about a minute and it's ready to go. So I just put everything in and turn it on and let it do its thing. Whereas my regular oven takes 10 to 15 minutes to preheat. This kind of moves into the next two pros is that one, it doesn't heat up the whole house. So if it's during the summer, which I haven't tested it during the summer, but it doesn't generate as much heat as a regular oven. And then also it doesn't use as much electricity. So in conclusion with our family, the amount of food that we cook and eat at a time, it's really not saving me much. It's not even saving me much on electricity because half of the time I still have to use the regular oven to cook the amount of food that we need. So it just, it wasn't worth it. But if you're considering buying one or you're wondering if you should keep the one that you currently have, here's a few questions that I would ask to help you evaluate what you should do. First, how many people are you cooking for? If you're cooking for one or two people, then I think this is a great option because it will save on energy. You don't have to heat up the whole oven. You can just put what you need in the pan and bake it, especially if you're someone who likes snacks. If you're going to heat up some cheese sticks, it's silly to heat up a huge oven when you're going to bake five cheese sticks, whereas you could just put those five cheese sticks into the air fryer and it'll work well. Does it meet your needs for the amount of things that you need to cook? For our family, we have five in the house all the time, but there are many times that we have seven to eight people joining us for a meal. It definitely does not cook enough roasted potatoes for seven or eight people. Do you have plenty of space to store it when you're not using it? I prefer to have things not on the counters just because I don't want to look at crowded, crowded counters all the time. To me, the kitchen feels airy, light, and spacious when all the appliances are put away. So consider where you would put it, and if it needs to be out on the counter, how you would feel about that. Does it require more work from you? Read carefully whether or not it's hand wash or dishwasher safe. Because it's smaller, it is going to need to be cleaned more frequently than a regular oven would. And lastly, does the amount of energy that it saves you benefit you enough that it justifies keeping it? Now, some people have small apartments and no air conditioning. And so during the summer, if they want to be able to have a frozen pizza, this might be a really good option because then you don't have to heat up your whole house. Also, if you're working really hard to keep your utility bills lower and this can cook the amount of food that you need, I would say yes, it, it would do that. So that's what I found for our family. Let me know in the comments what you have found works good for you. Do you have an air fryer? If you do, how often do you use it? Does it cook enough to feed everyone you're feeding regularly? Or do you just wish you hadn't purchased it in the first place? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see the silly skip video that our family did to demonstrate why I don't like having appliances sitting on the counters, you can check that out right here. <laughs>